Welcome back to the Corrigans. So we have this canal, which I can swim through. You know, I haven't explored the canal. I should probably do that. Let's just leave all the rose stuff there so it's not slowing me down too much. If we look at the map, actually, the canal is marked. Yeah, the canal will get us around this gate. We also have the key to the gate. We also have a huge ladder there with a window that maybe we can open. Also, this note, which was talking about secret passages near activation point one. The big door, yeah. And uh, saying that that leads to Sir Bovee's place. Bovee. Bovee? Sir Bivouac. Ah, right, okay. We're not gonna get, it, get through the door from this side, regardless. So let's try the ladder. It'd be funny if carrying this means I can't swim if that, I would just sink. I would totally do that. <laughs> if I was making it like you carry all this huge and all this stuff, and there was all this talk about how how it would be a pain. Oh, there's a ladder here too, okay. So. Does this open? No, it's, it's just a thing in, sticking out of the wall, alright. This is a very, 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 very long ladder. Alright, it's going to need a key, and I don't think I have it. Oh, I do. Where, where did I get this key from? Nobody better be taffing around down here. Oh well, back to work. Oh, that was the key. The. Uh... I'm surprised he didn't see me down there. That was the key with the uh, the note. East east of the gates, as I said. Uh, with the note from. La Sens man. Replied Captain Queen. The Corrigans have struck again. I know the Foster's got the worst of it. Those stupid creatures must have broken into their residence to steal food and hard luck. Found themselves face to face with the residents. For me, I've got a beauty of a clue. Norbert, my godson, left the joyous park in the other night with some friends. I know it's not a very reputable place. As they neared old Sir Gulliver's castle, you know the old fool who welcomes each visitor with much gunfire? Ah, this one is funny if you know him. Well, whatever, they got the idea to scare the pants off the old lord. He and his mates attempted to get over the railing, tried to lock the lock with a toothpick. Yes, they were a bit drunk and so not too bright, but that's not important. Suddenly they heard a little gurgling voice coming from the other side, which told them to run away quickly. A very little voice. All nice, they told me afterwards. That voice made them laugh straight away, but after they didn't laugh at all. A thing threw itself against the railing with incredible strength. A sword waved forward and it began emitting the most guttural and frightening of growls. It was like a man, but of smaller size, with a helmet on his head and a coat of mail. But its face, oh my god, it was hideous, with a big lower tooth which went over its lip to stick in his right nostril. I'm sure it was a Corrigan. I'm sure of it, boss, as sure as I am that my last kid is mine. Um, hmm, well, maybe you shouldn't be so sure of that bit. Now we know where the Corrigans hide, in the castle of the old Lord Gulliver. But the old fellow with his legendary suspicion will not want to open the gates of his residence for a search. I know a thing which will surely be useful to you, but this piece of information requires a little addition to my poor salary, yes? You will be able to find the key to the castle at Berlioz's, the pawnbroker. He has a key for every building in town. Ha! Huh. Is it not worth at least a hundred gold, this? I was very, very kind today, so you'll drop the envelope off with the money, plus the extra, at the usual place. Your faithful, La Fouine. Okay, so that was a message from an informer to this guy. <coughs> Hmm. Oh, there's activation one done. So you're telling me there's a secret passage near here. Do I want to spend? Yes, I do want to spend another moss. Aha. Uh -huh. Ha ha ha. Well, let's leave Delores stuff here because it slows me down too much. It's 
spying on his daughter's bathing. Oh wow, have you guys been sitting here drinking drinking wine and <laughs> spying on these people in the bath? Not very reputable. What was that? That was a water arrow putting out your gas lamp, ma'am. Nothing more. Nothing to worry about. Question is, does your bathtub here have any kind of water crystals in it? It looks, it looks clear. If it did, I would probably have to knock you on the head for the opportunity to get them, but... Uh, no, I think we're alright. Well, sorry I don't have time for any voyeurism right now. I have loot to steal. Has my husband gone mad? Is the son of the Ashleys not good enough for our daughter? No, he wants a delivery. What if he learns that our youngest girl has become infatuated with this young librarian, this Lucius, who has come to catalogue our ancient books? He would fall into melancholy. I don't know where this obsession to marry our girls to Delaray's sons come from, except that it will serve his own ambitions perfectly. Delaray, the name alone makes me shudder. My husband has a grand scheme in his head with which everyone hopes to ally their family to ours by making a lucrative marriage. Alas, the Delarays do not seem to be seduced by the charms our daughters have to offer, which causes my husband to fly into a towering rage. Is it a way for them to show a certain scorn for us? My poor M. Louis, so much energy wasted in vain. This torments him to such a point that he expels any man who dares approach our girls a little too closely. Patiently, he amasses all of our profits to deposit in a chest with a code numbered lock, hidden in a place only he knows, to gather the amount needed for a dowry for the hypothetical marriage of our daughters to Delaray's sons. The piece of parchment that holds the key code, he never leaves his, never leaves his sight. He even sleeps with it. I can't reason with him. He no longer listens to me. May the creator help us. Where will this stupid obsession lead us? Our daughters are beautiful and still young. They are a good match and may join with the great families of the area. That would not be enough for him. And this poor Lucius, so kind, so pleasing. I remember also a charming young man, Edgar. No sooner had he asked for my eldest hand than he disappeared. No one has heard from him since. My M. Louis would have dismissed him like all of them, I'm sure. Lucius, it's a long time since I've seen him. Would he have left the house before he had completed his task, driven off by this violent quarrel with my husband about Angel? Ah, it is late. I just have time to take a bath before dinner. I'm sure M. Louis is still in the cellar. What the hell has he been up to these past two hours? Oh. New objectives? Ye gods, three daughters to marry. Where could their old tyrant of a father have hidden their dowry? Optional. Okay. Well, if the place only he knows, maybe in the, that place is in the cellar too. She's not hiding anything behind these paintings, are you? With a switch cunningly concealed behind the bed? Or behind the dresser? Well, probably not. Probably not. Some snoring. I thought I heard a, a guard clearing his throat, but perhaps not. Ugh. Worthless. Worthful. I could maybe have made the jump to the carpet there, but I never trust my jumping skills over a gap like that, especially with that door frame in the way. Well, sir, I think you might want to discount on the dowry for this daughter. She snores like a pig. A big snore? I don't know. She snores like. Come out where I can see you. It was a guard that I heard. She snores like this. Pig of a guard, probably. I don't know. What am I saying? I have no clue. Alright, so the guard does come into this. Well, there's, uh. 
Unfortunately, room brushing uh, issues. So the sound is leaking in here, it shouldn't be. And I sneezed. I can pull for a mute button within handy reach, as I'm sure you are too. Nothing. Pity. There's gaps behind the bookcases. Those gaps do not seem to conceal anything. Well, actually, I don't know if the guard comes in here, right? Did I? I just saw him walking past this side. There's a guard standing there. Hello. Show yourself. <clears throat> All right, so he goes downstairs. Ah, oh, that guard turns back. Okay. about in here. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. Wow, lots of plates. Lots of apples. <clears throat> this will help with my health situation, I'm sure. Well, a little bit, perhaps. Me accidentally opening the door instead of eating cheese. <clears throat> Either I wasted all that stuff, or and I'm not one hit point short, or did anyway. That was that was convenient timing that I accidentally popped the door and realised the uh, guard was coming. I was not, I was standing there in the light, not really prepared for the entrance of a guard. Ah. Okay, we need a key here. I see, that must be where the guard comes from. Or possibly he comes through here. I think he comes through here. Let's make a move. A different guard down there, okay. Watch and wait. And curse my copy that has run out. Okay, so uh, both things are true. Oh, I guess this is my opportunity to see what's down this way. Almost banner that maybe I cannot kill. Hmm, I thought I saw something. No, ma'am. I guess it was nothing. It was nothing at all. Who's there? Is someone back there? I guess it was nothing. Wink. Okay, so the guard does come in here, but if I sat was to sit here, I would not be noticed. I don't know what the guard's patrol is like. And how much time I have, because I might have enough time now, but I there's a door at the top. There's there's the footsteps. 
patient scout. Little patience. It is a painful duty, but it is a duty all the same. Mm. Ah! That's the painful part of it. Ouch. I ate all my food. I really thought I would make that leap, but I should have been a little less dramatic. Okay, so we're gonna have to go down that into that front room. Unfortunately we've got a guard who's gonna be coming up that way. As well as a guard right outside there, right? Maybe we have to sneak through the kitchen again. Do I really not have any more healing? I really don't have any more healing. Oh, why do I still deliver his key? The lock didn't consume it. Interesting. <clears throat> Who's there? D did you say something? Alright. You sneak back through the kitchen. Now that we have a better idea of where the uh, guards actually patrol. I think a rope arrow is going to be my answer there, and maybe a rope arrow is my answer here as well. The guards don't come in here. I don't think they do. <gasps> beauteous apples with a lack of beauteous hit points. All right, fine. Carrots. One hit point. It is kind of funny how well the way that a play makes uh, finding food far more exciting than finding loot. Oh well. Ah, storage room. I see more food. Get down, you are too generous. I guess I can watch where the guards go now. Stop 
to the front door and back, I guess. Collect that rip out of again. Before I do, let's go over to this table where I see something. Oh, this is the guy that walks along there. He doesn't come down the stairs, I don't think. Does. No. Okay, he left. All right. This must be this. One of these must be the cellar door. Guess that doesn't open. I'm gonna predict that this is gonna be locked and need a key. No, it doesn't look locked, does it? Oh. Hello. What's going on here? Oh, this is not the cellar. Is it housekeeper's room or something? Yeah, it's the cellar key. Dear Alexander, at last the moment I've hoped for has arrived. Angèle has agreed to a rendezvous. She left the cellar key here so that I'll meet her tonight. At last we will be together, far from the furious looks of her tyrant of a father. She wants to leave with me. Do you realize, Alex? Me, a common librarian. I've not fully taken it in yet, but even so, the joy of this instant floods my soul with a happiness I've never experienced before. This woman is the woman of my life. I feel it. I know it. When you see her, Alex, you'll adore her. So sweet, so kind. Oh, her ogre of a father calls for me. I'll tell you the rest later. Your friend, Lucius. Ah, uh, I think I know what is happening in the uh, cellar then. So is that the cellar door upstairs? Seems rather strange to me have a cellar upstairs, but uh, I don't know how these people build their houses. All I know is that they build them with loot and I deal with the latter problem. It's Garrett, I, uh, I am like a pest control uh, engineer, but for loot, you know, loot control, that's, oh. That's not gonna get me where I want. All right, I need to wait for a moment to climb these stairs. Right, do you suffer from excess loot? Do you have golden trinkets climbing out your ears, invading your kitchens, nibbling on the toes of your children at night? Call 1-800-G-A-R-R-R-R-E-T-T-T. And Garrett will deal with your problem once and for all. Right, I need to be quiet. These are very large stairs. Will a rope arrow do me any good? I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> Stand for them, be recognized. Uh, is someone there? Yeah, that was all kinds of cleverly done. What a ridiculous idea. I don't think I'm going to be able to sneak my way in there. So I guess I'll need to wait till the guards and not in earshot. 
do some, uh, you know, <coughs> temporary uh, medical intervention. Here we go. Oh, maybe I can sneak. If I don't have to knock him on the head, I guess it's better. All of us. Low key. Hmm. Can I pick this up? Can what will this unlock? Unlock? I have no idea. Certainly not a symbol lock. Seems a little too complicated for uh, one that you just stand here picking without any kind of. Guards coming or going. What is it unlocked? What the? Was that supposed to lock this? What was that all about? Nothing opened. It's not like the, one of the keys I have that works for it, right? How strange. Maybe it's just a, maybe one of these people likes to practice lock picking. Maybe that's all it is. I feel like I'm gonna get seen here. <coughs> I guess it was nothing. I would just scream. I guess it was nothing. <sighs> You know what? Sorry, ladies. That's the safest way to deal with that problem. <coughs> and with the whole sneaking across the room problem. Alright. Oh, splink us? No, there's a ring. Alright, there's our loot goal. That's nice. What have we got in the cupboard? Oh, it's... Not just a cupboard. Okay, so here is his safe. He locks with a code that he keeps on himself. Okay, we're gonna have to go down to the cellar, so I know where the cellar is, I think. Let's just, uh... Make sure there's no chance of him getting spotted, but I don't think it's I think it's fine. Now I'm gonna go through that door, I think. We have a guard who's gonna come out that door, walk down the hallway back. And this guy who's gone downstairs is going to go through that door. I suppose if you snuck along here in the shadow of this, you would be able to get behind that guard. Where is the other guy? Okay, I'm concerned now because that's not where I thought it was. They're not where I thought they were going to be, and that is making me nervous. Okay, 
There they come. Yeah, and the other guy's coming out at the same time. Well, that's not good. Although, I guess... Hmm. No, timing-wise, that's absolutely terrible. Because this guy's going to be coming back before I have a chance to follow this guy. Might be able to follow this guy. I feel like I does go all the way downstairs, and this guy just goes round into the kitchen. the cellar key. Sorry, the cellar. Yeah, I'm very strange that the upper floor has the cellar, but... Uh... Hmm. <clears throat> That's one body. Oh, I see. That's that's Lucius. The code, nineteen seventy-five. Okay. Honestly, man, I could be sneaky and leave you alone, but I just disapprove of what you've done. So. You are gonna wake up. Sorry, Lucius. You are gonna wake up in your grave that you dug. Code gone, your money gone. Lucius's body. Well, that's a good point. What do I do with Lucius's body? What do I do with Lucius' body? He's gonna wake up thinking Lucius came back to life and stole his stuff. That would be funny. Oh, I thought I didn't have time with the other guard. Oh, there he is, I didn't. Quite right. Okay, it was a little tight in terms of timing, but I think I got away with it.
already. Okay. mansion key now, so I guess I can then instead of going back to where I came in which I don't remember what it was, oh was that hmm. no I do want to go back to where I came in because that was a secret passage okay, that's easier then, I can collect my rep arrow on the way back, just need to go down this hallway and the guards give me a moment of peace <coughs> Which is not going to be now, is it? The other guy's about to come out. Come out. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe it would have been then, actually. <laughs> the longer I hesitate, the less time I've got. Plenty of time. Plus, I was forgetting who was who. It's the guy that goes to the kitchen that goes downstairs. The guy that runs along upstairs. It's the guy that comes out this door. Okay, but this looks alright. I think he'll be downstairs, walking away, facing away. Yeah. Should have should have the opportunity. This isn't the bath. This isn't where the secret passage was. The secret passage was through here. Try not to disturb you, ma'am. Maybe I leave the body here so she discovers it and accuses her husband. Sure, I think that'll work. Plus, that means I don't have to carry it in further. Okay. Quietly, Garrett. Oh, we can't get out of this room. So putting a moss arrow near the door was an absolute waste of time. Okay. What we do get to do here is... Uh... Activate lever number one. Very well. And climb extremely slowly down a ladder. Ah, oh, these goods are pretty heavy. So heavy, in fact, that I'm just going to leave them right here because I think I'm going to have to come back for them later. Alright, let's go around this way, see if we can get lever number two then. 
somehow. Is that a light going on and off? Yes, indeed. Oh, there's, there's water crystals in the canal. That's. Did I miss any here? I should look. They're not highly visible, so. Doesn't seem that I miss any. I will not complain about that, I'm running low. Says that that's north. I guess we don't need the number anymore. Uh, that's to the northern sewers, that big bridge. Okay. Mm. Alright, can you can you climb this? Snipers. Well, I don't know if the guard heard me or not, but the door should be opening. Oh, it takes some time, doesn't it? through to where our fence is supposed to live now. But uh, be wary of... Hmm. The upper floor here. Mm, better not be the sergeant checking up on me. Yeah, it's just the sergeant testing you if you're awake. I better say no to that second mug of coffee. Okay, there's a sign there now. Oh, this is not where our fence lives. Hello. A frog beast egg lives. Let's see. Map. Well, they are in this area. So firstly, they have a key. Apparently have keys to all the buildings, which is very suspicious. But also, perhaps exceedingly useful to me. I could climb up that. like they're waiting for us, not like they're the fence. Bilios. Okay, this is Bilios. If you want to do business with Bilios, show the password. You don't get in if you don't have the password. If you have the password, put it very nicely in the tray and then we'll open the door. If you lost the password, ask your thief friends. Surely they have one to lend to you. Well, there's my thief friend, and I think it feels like it's an ambush. <clears throat> Does it not? It looks ambushy to me. <sighs> I'm gonna get used to working side by side with women, or running from women on the guard these days. Hey, I'm not deaf, you know. Come out. 
I'm not kidding. Come on out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You don't have a password for me? Oh, you can sleep in this alley. How about you? Nope. Alright. I still smell a rat, but, uh... Okay, well, I've put the goods down. How about we go and try and deal with that archer, shall we? Oh, I can't climb that. Yeah, I just swore that was just climbable. Do you have any wood up there? No. I mean, we could maybe be getting across from up there, but, hmm. Right, this is then more problematic than I anticipated. It can take crates. There's somebody here, right? It doesn't sound like somebody friendly. Oh, hello. Mosques growing in the streets. What will they think of next? Looks like his back door. Yeah, it would take quite a lot of crate stacking, I think, to make that work. Okay. Well, then, I don't have crates. Those keys. Is this papyrus? Oh, this is the uh, reply, right. Key to the castle. Kill of his castle, right. Yes, stuff that I don't need. Might as well wait here, right. Now, not, let's not drop keys on the floor while guards are nearby. What was this one telling us? Uh, the secret passage. Okay, we've dealt with that. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, it's... <laughs> oh, poor guy. That's the, that's the guy that they uh, were hazing, the new guy. Come on, move along. I don't have a light. I guess I'm probably even done with that key now. Cool. This stuff's all rel relatively findable if I want to come back. Okay. There wasn't a crate here. One crate would let me get up there, and that would let me get up there, but I do not seem to have one crate. Not even one. Can't pick the lock, right? Ah, oh, he's... That's the guy I've heard, heard muttering. He's waiting for the password. He was watching me try to pick the lock and just laughing in his sleeves. <laughs> and 
jumping in the canal. Well, I mean, it might get me more water arrows, but it's not going to get me much of anything else. Okay. I guess I head further east for the moment. Uh, artist pub, first point two four. Who had research? Corrigan research. I don't know who Duhamel is. Well, guards don't seem to be nearby. He says as he hears footsteps coming. Yeah, I want to pick his pocket, but that's that I see. <laughs> the hell? I'll find you. Somebody's hunting for me? Barely poked my nose out. My nose isn't that big. <clears throat> oh shit, it's a fucking un Hey! There's an intruder here! Unbashable guy. Come on! Together we'll take him! Ah! Well, three at once, okay. We're gonna have these two guys. Hey, we've got an intruder! Alright, let's just keep the archer off our back. Right. I need backup over here. Watch out. There's some taffer running around. Swimming around. Get it right. I guess we have to go through the door again. All right. Well, this is unfortunate timing cuz Can't mantle my way up there. I rolled up everybody all at once. Just because of one stupid guard who couldn't keep my nose out of things. I'm just going to try this again since. Nah, no good. Oh. There weren't any crates in the sewers, were there? Seeing as I've got uh, some time to kill while those guards are calming down. These people have any crates for me? Actually, just thinking it's be a good screenshot. Just trying to look for a good angle. Yeah, beautiful. All right. No crates there. And you didn't have a crate, did you? Were there any crates in the sewers? I don't remember any crates in the sewers. So are you man? No. Alright, that's the police that was the cops. They didn't have any crates either. Alright, well never mind. Never mind the crate question. Not again. I guess it's nothing now. Still hunting. Oh, my dogs are killing me. Time to get a new pair of boots.
So. I don't know what to do about Belios. We haven't found any sign of a password. So I guess we're going to have to find more thieves. Or sniping or snipers. We'll find the snipers. That's, that's easy. We uh, just turn our back around until we, you know. And when we hear the arrows hitting our beautiful soft flesh, that's when we know the sniper's nearby. Alright, well I'm going to end the episode here uh, and give these people a couple more minutes to calm down. And uh, when I come back we'll make more progress. See you then.